Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen and I love thrifting, homemaking, and intentional living. Today I have Ivy with me because she's been fussing a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I am excited because today is dollar day at Thrift America. So I'm gonna take you with me. We're gonna go see what we can find. And I might actually show you another thrift haul that I had right before I started my fast. So when I realized I went over everything that had happened over the last month, I got so into discussing the new house with you guys that I actually didn't talk to you at all about the break that I took from social media and from work. And it was actually really great. I did not realize how addicted to going to thrift stores I am, nor did I realize how addicted I am to checking my phone. It's so funny because I always, I think I always compare myself to other people when it comes to my phone because I'm really not the type. <laughs> because I'm really not the type to always have my phone on me or always be checking it. But I didn't realize just how often I was checking it until I wasn't allowed to check it. It was so funny because I talk about how I would be like checking my bank statements <laughs> just to have something to do on my phone because I eliminated YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, just all of the main social networks. And I tried to stay away from like podcasts and the news and stuff too, just to try to keep my mind clear and positive and not just always be bogged down by bad news or good news or any news. I just really wanted to take the time and devote it to my family. So I actually had a really tough time just with all of the things that were going on with the house. I was really depressed, we all got super sick. And so it just made it really, exhausting. I did my best to stay away from TV, but especially when all four of us were sick at the same time, y'all, the TV was on. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't, I didn't win in that regard. It was really good, especially when it came to thrifting because I realized how often when I'm just driving around, I'm like, you know what? I should pop in and check that out. I just didn't realize how often I was like going in and buying stuff. And it's not that I spent like a ton of money at thrift stores, but even if you just spend a little bit over time, it tends to build up. So thankfully I usually sell everything that goes out of our house and I try to clear things out pretty often, but I don't know. It was a huge lesson for me just like in consumerism and realizing how divided my attention is at all times. But that time is over and I'm very excited to be back. It is dollar days at Thrift America and I wanna take y'all with me so that we can go see what there is today. On dollar days is where all clothing and linens are a dollar and then kids clothes are 50 cents each. Anyway, well yeah, let's get started. Okay guys, so forgive me for these. I did a terrible job of recording. A lot of the time that I thought I was recording, I actually was not, and so I missed a lot of these shots, so forgive me. I did love this chair. I, it was so cute, but for $9.99, I didn't want to spend it when it was already falling apart underneath. I need it, but I really like it. That is cute. What do you think you'd put in there? I could find maybe flowers and put them in here. Mom, this, I think it would be good for fall. Okay, so I actually did not include this in the haul, but I did buy this bed frame. There's a crazy story that goes along with it that maybe I will tell you another time in one of my next videos. These were cute. We're going to Colorado here in the next week, so I'm excited to get those. And I love this little denim jacket. It's so cute. I wish that this Hollister top would have fit me, but the arms were so skinny on it. I went and tried it on and it just looked funky on me. I love this white shirt too, but I have this awkward tie in the back. All right, y'all. Well, we are back. We're partying. Keep partying. This is how Josh makes her dance. Ay, ay, ay. Or something like that. I can't remember. Okay, so we're back. I wanted to show y'all what I found. I really lucked out. First um, was something that was totally on my list because we are actually going to Colorado this week, which I'm very excited about. And it is these little snow pants. So I try to do myself a favor. If I ever see these on sale, just grab them. A couple years ago, we got stuck right before like some kind of vacation or some type of big snow thing where we had to go buy snow pants. And like the cheapest we could find them was like $25. And so the fact that I found these on dollar days and they're size six, so they should fit Rosie for a while now. Um, I had to grab them up. Next, this was not on sale because just because jackets are not included in their dollar day sales. So this was $3.99, but I thought it was so cute. It was just a little jean jacket, as you can see. 
The brand is Route 66, which I'm not as familiar with. Most of the ones we have are Levi's, but I thought that this was super cute. It's just that nice like denim. Um, and it says it's a size eight, which seems kind of crazy because Rosie has a size six one right now that she wears a lot. And this one seems about the same size. So maybe I'll try it on her. And if it's too big, we'll throw it in the big pile. And if it fits her, then she can continue to wear it this year. Next, I picked up this cute little vintage top. I think that this will be the perfect size for Ivy this upcoming summer. What do you say, kiddo? <laughs> I guess it was originally only 99 cents, but I got it for 50. But it was just so cute with these little teeny tiny flower patterns and that sweet vintage fabric. If you know, you know. It's that like just precious little cotton feel. She's loving it, so I'm gonna let her play with it. Y'all notice her her shirt is that little um that little Winnie the Pooh one I got from the Goodwill outlet. Okay, and next was um a turtleneck that i picked up i've honestly been looking for one like this that's white but i have not been able to find it but it's just kind of like a, a mock neck turtleneck it's from h m and it's a size medium so i'm not sure 100 percent how it'll fit on me but it's a bodysuit and y'all i'm not gonna lie i'm not crazy about bodysuits so we'll see how it fits if it's cute i'll wear it and if it's not i'm not 100 percent sure on the color either Part of me is like, oh, I love it. And part of me is like, is it just gonna make me look like one huge flesh person? <laughs> anyway, we'll see. I'll try it on for you guys. Okay, it's not bad, right? I think it's kind of cute. Okay, so here is this shirt. And honestly, I think it feels exactly like how I want it to. Um, it's actually not even that like thin. And you guys, I know that it's a bodysuit, but I think it's kind of cute, right? It's not too bad. So I think I'm actually gonna wear this for my next video. So see y'all in this. All right, and last for my dollar items were these beautiful blankets. I don't even know what you call this. It's just like a 100% cotton woven blanket. And on one side it has this little pattern and then on the other it looks like this. So I found this dark blue one, which was my favorite, but I also found a light blue one that matched it. And I don't know if this has that same thing where it switches I don't see but you see how um it does look like that on the other side as well and so I figure I'll use these on the couches that we have in our new home I really like a thin blanket but a heavy blanket at the same time because a lot of times I just want something to give me the weight but not necessarily to make me hot you know what I mean so I really loved both of these and um they don't have tags on them so I don't know where they were made or how old they are but maybe you guys have an idea and you can let me know in the comments okay so those were all of my dollar items but then I got a few others as well I got this idea from the blog she holds dearly I was actually watching this morning and she has a 1906 farmhouse I think and ours is gonna be a 1900 farmhouse she said that when they were built they didn't have like toilet paper dispensers which I didn't think about that and so she actually found like a little mini shelf to set her toilet paper on. So in the house that we're in, in the main bathroom, I saw that there is no toilet paper dispenser. They just have like a standalone thing that they had in there when we went in. And so I bought this to be able to just attach to the wall and maybe just set our toilet paper on for whenever we need it. I don't know, this might fit, it might not. If not, it was 99 cents. Throw it in there, see if it works. If not, it cost me hardly anything. I got this little basket and this was on sale. It's $1.99, but their pink was half off. So I wound up getting it for 99 cents. I just thought it was so cute. I told Rosie that she could use this like for her American Girl dolls and stuff as like a little laundry basket for them. So this is probably completely unnecessary, but I thought it was absolutely precious. And so I bought it. And then last is another basket. Y'all know I'm obsessed. And this one was a little bit pricier as far as baskets go. And you guys are gonna laugh because it's still so cheap. This was $2.99. Oh my gosh, this, this kid put this in his basket so much. I'm like having a rip off. There we go. It's just like a plain little square basket. And I mean, it's nothing super special or anything. I did appreciate that I had a liner to it. But the reason why I bought this is because sometimes I'll buy baskets to organize things, but they are like rounded or <laughs> like this or they've got an edge that goes in like this like they're not straight down and I really appreciate the just squareness of these baskets because I feel like you can utilize them the most as far as like square footage and what you can actually fit in there okay so that is everything 
that I found at the dollar day sale today. But before I went on my break from social media and working and shopping and YouTube and all that, I did take one last trip after I was all done editing my videos and everything before I left. And so I will show you what I got, but because I honestly thought I was just gonna slip in, I did not videotape anything. And so I apologize, you're not gonna see any of this in the footage, but I found some amazing stuff. I don't know why I didn't just like bring out my phone. I was thinking I was only gonna be there for like five minutes. And so I didn't even take it out, but I'll show you what I found. All right, y'all, I am eating my words now because I know the last, I know on one of my last thrifting videos, I said that I was not going to buy any more mugs, but I found the two cutest mugs. I just could not pass up. This one is an Irish setter mug, as you can see. It's like little hunting dogs. And then this one is an English spaniel. I'll show you up close too. Isn't that so cute, this little set? And so I honestly bought them to go into our bathroom to kind of be like for the girls to use as their like bathroom cups or whatever. But I'm not gonna lie, that and the coffee cup that I bought maybe a month ago that I showed you guys, I use them all as my coffee mugs all the time. So I don't know what I'm gonna do, you guys. My collection is getting out of control, but I'm just so obsessed with coffee mugs. Next, I found these pretty little towels and they were, um. $1.19 each, and I think that they are a pack of two, I believe. Yeah, two flower sack towels. But I thought these were so pretty. I think there's a little, like, slight stain on it, which is odd because they're still in the packages. But um, I figured I can just wash them and see how they wash out. But aren't they so pretty with that nice stripe on there? I've got some towels that I really like already, but I'm not gonna lie, they are all stained up so bad. And so it would be nice to have another set of white and blue since that's kind of what I do in my kitchen to just have as either our main ones or backups. Okay, I did find this just because it was still in the package, but it's this little Melissa and Doug wooden block set. So we actually already have this set for our own house, even though ours came in a bag and not in a little box like this. But a couple of our friends have had new babies and so I'm just gonna use this as a gift to one of our friends with their new little kiddos. Oh, and these alphabet box were $1.99. And now I've completely forgotten what this is called. There is a word for these, but I actually bought this for our homeschool. Uh, this was $1.99 and it's just that, you know, like the wooden beads used for counting. So we're gonna start in on math stuff soon. This year we've been focusing a lot on reading and letters and um, like basic numbers and stuff, but it's so crazy how Rosie's already understanding like how to multiply and everything. And we haven't even like actually gotten into any math curriculum yet. So we'll be using this for that when we get to it. And I know you guys probably think I need another crock, like like nothing, but I found this one at Goodwill. Let's see, this was $2.99, which is awesome for a crock this size. So it's actually a little pitcher. I have another one that's really similar to this. It's not as primitive. And so I think I'm actually gonna switch them out and actually put this one out and try to sell the other one instead. But I was just so impressed with it. I could not believe that they had this in there and I could not believe it was $2.99. So score for me. I found some iron stone. Look at this. This is that, um, this is the Federalist style that I found those little coffee mugs in. This is the style that I said that I liked a little bit better. So I found a large plate and then two small plates. The large plate is like great. It's super clean. But then with these smaller plates, especially one in particular has some of that crazing on it and a little bit of discoloration. I know some of you guys say that this actually makes them more, I don't know if it's more valuable if it's or if it's just what you're looking for. Um, if somebody can explain that to me, I would love to know. I don't hate that they've got a little bit of patina to them, but I would just love to hear a little bit more about that and why people like it when they have this, this type of discoloration to it. Maybe it's just people who love antiques like I do and they're like, I don't even care. I think for small plates, it's 99 cents. And then for the larger plate, it was a dollar ninety nine. Anyway, everybody, I am so glad to be back and doing thrifting videos. They are my favorite. So excited for this new year and to be able to outfit this new house. Um, we're going to be going through here pretty soon and start really digging through this house and getting rid of so much. Also, I want to let you know that I actually have a few videos that I had pre-recorded last year in case something like this had happened. And so if things wind up getting a little bit too crazy for me and I wind up getting a little bit too busy to be going thrifting, um, I do have some content that's great that I just haven't put out yet, but you might notice it's a little bit dated. So you might notice like my old chair in the background or whatever, but it's all stuff that you've never heard before, all items that you've never seen. 
I think. <laughs> At least items I have never talked about. Keep an eye out because I'm going to make another thrifting video this week and you guys will get to see a few of the other items that I picked up as well as um, go to an antique store with me. So that will be really fun. Anyway guys, we'll see you soon. Bye. Ivy, can you say bye? Bye. Bye.